What's up, YouTube? That's what beats back with another video. If this your first time to the channel, as always, welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat. All right, today, what we doing? We're not making no beat. We ain't making no music. I just want to talk about the file browser that's inside the software, not inside the hardware. So, if you notice when you try to search for something in the, in the software, it searches for folders inside the, the sample manager side. It searches for folders. And then if you search for a kick, it search for folders. And then whatever inside the folders, it give you the audio down below. All right. So that's what we talk about. I found a way how we can just bypass searching folders. We just go to straight audio for if we want melody, whatever. All right. So that's what we're doing today. Let's go. Let's get it. I don't know if some of y'all know it, but I just figured it out. So let's go. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, let's get it. Alright y'all, so we're inside the MPC software right now. So up here in the browser, right here, right? Say we want to, let's go to this folder. Do y'all know how to add folders? Like if you have um, samples in a folder on your, your computer, you can lay, um, drop them right here. So the way to do that, you'll come to this drop down menu. Go to wherever you have it on the hard drive right here or your SSD or wherever you have it. You'll open that folder, right? And it will come, you'll see it right here. If you want to add it to here, you just grab this and drag it to that folder or this folder. You have five space where you can put them or this one or this one or this one. Wherever you want to put them, right? And then once you click on the folder, it will have that there, right? So that's how you do that. But when you come to the search right here and try to search for, let's say, a kick, it searches the folders. And then what it does is inside this folder is kicks. But then they still give you whatever is inside this folder. They still give it to you down here as as the wave files because you can tell is the wave file right here. And you can tell this is the folder because of the folders, right? So we don't want that. We want to bypass all the folders. We want so they have some MIDI's in here too. See, they have that's the MIDI file right here. We don't want all that. We just want the WAV file, right? So I figured out how to figured out how to do that, right? So let's go. Instead of searching just the kick, what you want to do is hit space and then hit a dot. W A V now bypass all the folder and just give you all the wave files right so no matter which folder you go to up here is just strictly wave file that's any kick that's in here inside any folder is just giving you the wave is not giving you no um, MIDI files is just a straight wave right all wave files see no folders is there all right so let's, let's let me show you something else. Say instead of kick, you just want guitar. Strictly all guitar, no folders, no nothing. That's what the um, the ADSR sample manager used to do. Do the ADSR sample manager is awesome, yo, I love it. But sometimes when I open it up, it um. It's like it tell you that is is an error because it's already been open and you try I try to find it where it's open at and it's never open nowhere. So that right there is how to use this like the ADSR sample manager. Right? That ADSR sample manager is fire by the way, but if it just don't do that where it say something is already open and it won't open at all then it would be perfect for me we wouldn't even be here making this video right so let's say we just want pianos instead of guitar we leave the dot wave there and just change out whatever is in front and they give you all the pianos all right 
So now, let's say, is with anything, you want melody. Once the file starts with melody, it will pop up right here, no matter where it's at inside this one folder. Or if you want it over here, no matter where it's at inside this folder. So these folders represent wherever you have a folder on your computer. I just showed you in the beginning how to add that, right? So that's where you go, and that's how you add the folders. So melody, no matter what you want. If you want, uh, I have some cymatics stuff. So if you want cymatics. this folder all cymatic wave you see what I'm saying now say say we want bass no matter what you type just leave the dot wave there and figure out how to get it from the instead of the dot wave just get the um whatever you're searching for all right so that was the video for today man it was just a quick video just to show y'all how i use this sample manager that's inside the sample manager that's inside the software instead of using any external um any external software all right so thank you to everybody man i appreciate y'all everybody that's been tuning in everybody that's been locking in i appreciate y'all thanks for watching man i appreciate it all man all right without y'all this i wouldn't even been doing this so thank you thank you thank you to everybody man i'm grateful blessings to everybody all right let's go let's get it i'll catch you in another one make sure you click that video all right let's go man let's get it Tony up let's go